Hi, welcome to Commercial Property Roadshow with Helen Tarrant and today I'm actually going to share with you my tips whether a retail tenant can actually be making money in this market. I know the market is volatile and people are avoiding retail tenants but I have actually specific clients who look for retail tenants. You see there's a bit of a key for retail type tenants. So what you're looking for is versatility. The most important thing with a retail tenant or the property is that it needs versatility in the actual property. So can this property have two doorways? Can it be divided into two because you see what's happening with retail is they're actually what people don't tell you is that retail rent are one of the rents to go up the highest as the area gentrifies so that means that your rent can jump from twenty thousand dollars to forty thousand dollars in the space of a couple of years purely because there's a new development coming into the area there's more density of population there's more demand and there's a change of demographics in the area nothing influences rent so much in the changing area in terms of a commercial property in retail space so that's where I want to share with you today how you too can capitalize on this you see there's never been a better time than right now because no one in the market wants wants retail so they go oh retail is bad retail is not good but there's only a little time ago where everyone was investing in retail and that may be five years ago or seven years ago but these people have reaped the rewards recently in Sydney only last year in December was a retail shop from sold in Eastwood so that's Metro that's 20 k's out of Sydney 25 20 25 k's out of Sydney CBD retail shop front in the main street of Eastwood which is a suburbia and they sold for seven million dollars on a 1.9% yield. Now, if you were the landlord of that, even if you had bought that 20 years ago, you've never thought that this probably be worth more, three times as more as the average house price in that area. But you see, it's the potential of the growth in rent, the potential that further development, further subdividing, because what will happen is retail rents go up, you'll need to divide that premise so that you can get the maximum so say let's say that retail rents are five hundred dollars a square meter and you need to charge in the future you want to charge seven hundred dollars a square meter so one of the things is to actually divide that space up to smaller spaces can you get two spaces three spaces out of there where then that's going to increase the rent rate per square meter and also location is so key to retail properties you see with the right location you can actually get um properties that are in demand that with a change of a single tenant your rent could literally go up 40 50 percent sometimes even double so it's about sometimes attracting a brand name tenant so maybe a franchise tenant will want to actually come in there because you're in the main strips or perhaps you've bought in an area where the tenant you know is not it's underperforming at the moment but in the future as there's more developments happening in the area you'll be able to swap out that tenant divide that premise into two put two really good quality tenants in there and all of a sudden you've doubled the value of your property so I wanted to show you this property for example so this property is in Waterloo it's on Burke Street in Waterloo it's called Zensation now you might think okay what's well, a tea house so what is a tea house you know a tea house is not really going to do anything at the moment in this current market how are their sales going well all of those things doesn't matter because you think across the road the warehouse have just been approved by DA 550 units now 550 units down the street one street apart there's another 550 units that's just been approved as well in the next three to five years this is going to transform the area it's going to literally bring in five ten thousand people into this area and it's going to transform retail it's going to transform the hub there's going to be more people wanting to have um, coffee wanting to sit outside now you're right opposite that now you've had a chance to buy this property at a seven percent yield so the tenant is now paying seventy thousand dollars but if you could buy the property at a 7% yield, so about a million dollars. Now, originally, before all of this crisis happened in this market, they wanted 5.6% yield, which is 1.25 million. Now they'll take a million dollars for this. And this is how you score a bargain in a disaster, a bargain in a volatile market, because you are bold and you do things that no other people will do right now. So if you go out there, buy this property, all you have to do is hold on to this property for the next three to five years. Now, I know you might have to give the tenant some rental incentives. I know you might have to put in a larger deposit to secure the deal. But the thing is, ultimately, 
you can let this tenant go. You can divide that premise into two and have a cafe tenant, a little funky cafe tenant, and then you can have maybe a takeaway tenant or even a tenant, maybe you can have a fast food tenant, meaning, you know, like a subway or something like that. Or you could have a tenant that is a specialist eatery. So it'd be great for a great cafe for all that brunches and avocado smashes out there, you see? So it's about being creative. And if you hold out, Sydney market will always come back in. So your Metro Sydney and Melbourne will always come back in. So as as the time passes in the next 12 months, what you will see is that the yield will compress again and you'll be able to get back that property. That property will go back to value to that 1.25 million, even 1.3 million. So you literally have $300,000 of equity sitting there by buying it today in this volatile market. That's if you're bold and you're willing to get there. Now I can help you through that journey and I can show you the ins and outs of how to negotiate and how to do it right because this has never been a better time to strike. So if you want to find out more information go to uh, helen at commercialpropertycashflow.com.au email me on that or go to helentarrant.com and send me a contact us and i look forward to speaking to you about it but in the meantime if you got this property at seven percent yield just remember how low the current market is in terms of interest rate the interest is sitting somewhere between high twos and early three so if you got it at three percent or even three and a half percent for this and you're getting seven percent return in the sydney market you're getting cash flow as you've never gotten before because seven percent you only see that in brisbane or regional or even fringe areas sunshine coast is even only giving you 6.25 and six and a half percent so just think about that if you could get seven percent in sydney it's really like having your cake and eating it too the cash flow will cash you through the next two to three years you'll have rental increases and then all you have to do is spend some money on splitting up the premise or changing over the tenant which may mean that you don't need to split up the premise giving the tenant some really good incentives, get them started, and all of a sudden you've got another $300,000 in the back end. So if you could do that in three years time, that's an extra 100 grand in, in equity in the, every year, plus a 7% return on cash flow. That's a 17% ROI on your property. I mean, yes, you take out some interest payments, but still, that's unheard of in this market. So that's why this has never been a better time than buy right now and be bold and buy things where the crowd is not looking. So I look forward to helping you more through my journey and uh, helping you and showing you all the tips and strategies on commercial property. Don't forget to click subscribe and the bell, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.